For some, bondage and discipline is fun and playful. They had whips and chains everywhere. In this case, the kinky stuff leads to obsession and murder. What's going on here? Society should have no room in their heart for those people. Brittany Kilgore grew up in rural Missouri, the very image of the Midwest girl with a heart of gold. She realized that she was not this ugly duckling, so she blossomed, she grew a lot of confidence. Soon, young love took hold. And at just 20 years old, Brittany found herself married and moving to Fallbrook, California with her military husband, Corey. I think she adjusted very quickly. Brittany made new friends and initially enjoyed her new life out west. But after a few years, with her husband deployed most of the time, Brittany's marriage was crumbling. And then she called and said, you know, I want to come home. And she filed for divorce. As Brittany's preparing to move back to Missouri, her friend Dorothy's boyfriend, Staff Sergeant Louis Perez, stops by. Louis Perez wants to know if she will go with him on this dinner cruise in the, in the San Diego Harbor. Brittany wants to go, but not with another woman's man. She didn't want Dorothy to be mad at her, so she even calls Dorothy Marglino and says, is it OK for me to do this? And the answer is yes. So Brittany agrees to go with Lewis, but it was the last time she would be seen alive. The only communication she had with anyone that night was a text she sent to her friend Channy. And it just says one word. That word is help. After a few more texts, communication stops. And the next day, Channy and another friend come by to check on her. When she's not there, Channy immediately files a missing persons report and points investigators in the direction of Marine Luis Perez. Luis Perez tells us he was aware that the dinner cruise left at 6.30, but he picked her up at 7.30. But he didn't tell her that. They weren't going to make the cruise, so they came up with a second plan. Let's just go out partying in the downtown San Diego area. It was raining at that time, and so he decides to drop her off in front of the bar. She decides to get off, and I go, OK, I'll go park the car, and I'll be right back. Lewis says when he last saw her, she was talking to two men, and then for the rest of the evening, he could not find her. But while one detective is talking to Lewis Perez, the other investigator notices something suspicious in his truck. And inside of his car, they found firearms that were found to be stolen. Police arrest Lewis on gun charges and pull a search warrant for his house, where he lives with his girlfriend, Dorothy Mariglino. But as detectives go through the house, it turns into something straight out of Fifty Shades of Grey. They had whips and chains hanging on a wall on a display. And Mariglino, she says, yeah, we're involved in the BDSM lifestyle. And that's when she tells us she was an acting dominatrix. Detectives learned that Lewis is the master, Dorothy is the mistress, and their roommate, Jessica Lopez, is their slave. Jessica was collared, and her collar said, property of Miss D for Dorothy. This residential dungeon is fascinating. But the case really breaks open when detectives get a hold of Brittany's cell phone records. Luis Perez told us that he took her to the downtown area, but we could show that her phone was in Fallbrook at 9.30 at night. With this new information, detectives get a second search warrant for Dorothy and Lewis's home. Dorothy's gone, her truck's gone, and the suitcases were gone. Suspecting Dorothy has something to do with Brittany's disappearance, an all-out manhunt begins. And soon, they spot Dorothy's car at a local motel, room number 105. They go in with a pass key, and when they open the door, there's blood everywhere. But it's not Brittany lying on the floor. It's Jessica, Dorothy and Lewis's in-house slave. She has cut marks all over her body. Jessica's rushed to the hospital as detectives find a gruesome note at the scene. She says that she's to blame for the death of Brittany that she committed the murder. And she says that she's the one that dumped Brittany's body in the Lake Skinner area. Cell phone evidence later places Luis Perez and Jessica Lopez at the scene where Brittany's body was found. And a final medical exam details how Brittany underwent BDSM torture, completely against her will. All three people, Luis, Dorothy, and Jessica, were charged with first-degree murder. That broke me. I couldn't live through that again. 
She just didn't die. She was tortured. If they weren't caught this time, they would have probably moved on and did it again. Thanks to investigators and prosecutors, this sadistic soulless trio received life without the possibility of parole. They'll get to experience a new kind of pain behind bars. For more information, go to oxygen.com. Thank you.